the Super Bowl. It's that time of year again, my friends, when football fans of all ages come together, sit down on a couch, grab some nice shakes, grab some snacks all around, sit down together and have a family fun event watching as these guys throw a ball around on this field. It's a great event, fantastic event. One event that I will never understand because I, for one, cannot play football for my life. I don't know how these guys don't get hurt. How do they not get hurt? Please, someone, please, these helmets, I mean, they can't just be that type of force field around them. But the Super Bowl always comes once a year, and it's like Christmas for people, especially football fans. People who don't even like football end up liking football and become so knowledgeable about football because the Super Bowl is here. I've seen it a lot. The most I've ever done with athletics was in Sims, and even my Sims aren't great at playing, you know, football, but hey, girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do to survive the streets of Jersey. You got the people wearing the jerseys in Jersey, hey. And if you wear the wrong jersey of, of your favorite football team, oh God. One thing that the Super Bowl does bring people together is sitting down when we get to watch the commercials. And one of the things that I've been realizing is there should be an ad that says, subscribe to PewDiePie. I mean, come on, PewDiePie, get a subscribe to him. Come on guys, support him. Every type of star that you can know coming in and being like, hey, I just got started in this type of commercial and it just costed $5 million. Five mil to make these types of commercials. Come on, forget about it. I mean, if I had the type of money, I'd, I'd be out of Jersey. Number one on this list of great things that we'll be checking out today is all about wiener dogs. You know, little Dotsons, little, those little skinny long dogs that you just be like, hey, you look like a hot dog. And to represent that as an inside joke that a lot of people do have about these dogs, they created an ad about dogs running as little hot dogs. But I'm not gonna spoil anything. I've seen this one before, but I really want to be able to see it again in a totally different light, in a totally different time. And I remember watching this the first time and I was just in tears because it's that classic. So you got doggo number one running, and you're like, oh, look, that's so cute. Little doggy's just running. You know, he's a little legs, little legs guy's just going like. And he's running his little costume, you know, going down the field. You're like, oh, maybe somebody dressed him up. You know, you think it can't be it. They can't add anything more to that. There's nothing else they can add. Mind you, there is. More doggos start chasing after the dog, okay? Their little leg just going like this. I mean, these guys, you know, if they're trying to go do like the Olympics, like thank God this ain't the Olympics, because if they were trying to go over the hurdles, oh my God, they'd be breaking their poor little legs. Like poor little puppies would be in the vet like how many times per week? But you got these little dogs who are just chasing after each other, okay? Running, and all different shades, you know? Look at this, beautiful. Look, look at him, he's smiling at us. He's literally, his ears are up in the air. Look at him. So adorable. I want to adopt this dog. Hopefully that these dogs, maybe they were owned and then they found their forever home through this ad because there's millions of them. I don't know if it's CGI or anything and they just multiplied the dogs at the same time or maybe somebody had the idea to actually create and develop new brand new costumes for these dogs with over hundreds of dogs. Mind you that they pay over $5 million to produce these ads. So I'm sure they had the budget for it. And look, there's a little pup. You know, you can't steal hearts without having a little, little cute little child or a cute little chicken nugget or a cute little kitten. But no, there's a little puppy. He is so excited to find his forever home or run to the hot dog heavens. He's just so excited to be one with his clan of dogs that are running with him. Like, look at that long little tail. Look at him. Adorable little nugget. Look at him. I want to adopt him. Please, somebody get me that dog. And then we see a couple, okay? The couple right now, here and now. Ship of the century. Hashtag wood ship it. You got Heinz tomato ketchup and Heinz yellow mustard. You think those two are overpaired made in heaven? I think that's a match made in heaven right there. Cause usually if you see in cartoons or anything, usually have ketchup and mustard going up against each other in some kind of wrestling ring and be like, hey, I'm the better one than you. Who do you think you are, hey? You know, who do you think you are? We be, uh, we be wrestling right now because you know, I be the ketchup. I be tasting better on the burgers than you ever would. And then you got Mr. Mustard being like, yeah, you know what? I think that I'm the best one. You know, you can't mess with me because uh, you know, I'm the mustard here and I make a lot of hot dogs in New York City taste a lot better than you ever would. And then literally you just have them have a feud or something. But here, okay, here, love wins over all. And then we have a chicken nugget. Chicken nugget right there. 
That is literally the cutest costume in the world. He is wearing, okay, the little packets. It's not even just a full packet. It's the little packets that you get at fast food restaurants of just ketchup. How adorable is this? Chicken nugget wearing ketchup packet. And I call kids chicken nuggets, so you get the joke now. Look at that. And it's, it even has the tear here mark. Don't tear here though. That's too cute. Now I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not gonna be able to use those ketchup packs now because I'm gonna think of this and be like, I don't want to tear that there. But look, he's pointing, because he wants that pup. He wants that forever puppy, and they want their forever home. And I kind of understand it because it's like the hot dogs will forever be, you know, forever match made in heaven when you get the nice little sweet, sweet ketchup and mustard. But a lot of people, I want to know, do you like ketchup or do you like mustard on your hot dogs? There's a lot of arguments that go into that. He knows what he wants and he knows how to get it. He knows exactly what his life is going to give him. He's nodding out of the agreement that you should subscribe to PewDiePie. So avocados from Mexico, you know, avocados that you can spread in your toast, they do a lot of the commercials for the Super Bowl. I mean, you get you gotta get that into the the eyes of millions of people who are watching. Obviously, you wanna get there, you wanna get a spot at the Super Bowl. So all these people will get to notice you. But I've been liking a lot of the avocados from Mexico commercials for the last few years because it's so unique in what they do. Well, we did it. We see all the bad out and the good in. Take a second and look around you. Go ahead. So it starts with a dome, okay? Automatically you're thinking, oh no, this is gonna be some kind of conspiracy theory about, you know, like she just said, keeping the bad out and the good in. So obviously something bad is gonna happen within the inn because nothing can ever go right when you're living in a dome. I've seen and read a lot of books and watched a lot of movies when you're living in a dome and you're trying to have that utopian society and it never ever works out. We have everything we've always wanted. Meet Chris Elliott. You got Chris Elliott right there, okay? And just just in his just sitting there, you know, with his little little table saying stars. Got a cut out of him, got a nice picture, the bathroom, which is probably his little trailer. Thank you, Chris Elliott. We'll want for nothing. Excuse me. I really love it here. Thank you. Um, we have all these beautiful avocados from Mexico, but where are the chips? I'm sorry? Mm-mm. Never forget the chips. You want to always take a potato chip and eat it. Get the reference, and you're my best friend. Oh, the chips. The chips are outside. You don't mess with chips. You don't mess with my chips. You don't mess with my chips. You don't mess with his chips. You don't mess with her chips. You don't mess with anybody's chips. You don't got chips, and they're outside of this dome. Madness is about to occur. You know, we're just you just got the plot of the story. Everyone's living within this dome, and then suddenly <laughs> they're going to get destroyed, so... Let's see how they tear, how, t how society does tear itself down within this little society that they built for themselves. Let's just see the climactic moment when everything gets destroyed. Let's just, let's just see. The chips are outside! <laughs> oh! <laughs> this guy's about to shave his head. He just, just, just shave that nice head. But you know, you just, you know, if you get a nice massage, go like this to somebody. I mean, hey, maybe your head needs a nice massage too. <laughs> As we see, she's uh, choking either her father or somebody else. She's hanging on there. <sighs> Savage, right there. That, that girl wants her chips. She wants her chips. I want a Chris Elliott autograph. Hi. <laughs> Golden right there. Chris Elliott's head just, just got popped off. Just, just got destroyed. Oh, Chris Elliott. Oh, Chris Elliott. <laughs> I, for one, prefer a nice burger from one of these. But hey, that's that's easy living for me. If you're from New Jersey, you want things fast. And one of the things that you want fast is your fast food. That's right, my friends. That's right. We can still make this work. Yes. 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 Oh, Wi-Fi's down. No, 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 It kind of no, no, shows no. us how our lives are without certain things. I mean, if chips are one thing, you know, if you go to the grocery store, sometimes you can always find chips, but it's like kind of resembling also how, you know, you can't, if your favorite food's not there for one week, you get really upset or my ear itches. 
Or if your your favorite drink ain't there in the supermarket one day, you get crazed. So another thing that I noticed is at the end with the uh, with the Wi-Fi and everything. Obviously, people are gonna go crazy if there's no Wi-Fi because that's usually how it works in reality. Because people can't survive without the internet, which is really sad. Go out there and meet some friends, my friends. Go out there and have a social life. That's right, my friends. <laughs> Oh. But it's just funny to see how they are able to direct and produce this where they got even Chris Elliott in there saying you want some of these autographs Which is basically just mocking himself, but you know Chris Elliott, you know, you're cool All these people are cool all the actors and actresses that were in this were cool get their autographs support your fellow actors today So when you get a Super Bowl commercial and you got Danny DeVito playing in it, you know it's going to be a good commercial. Because obviously, whatever this man is, usually he has a great part. He makes, he's part of my childhood with films such as Batman Returns and also you got Matilda. I mean, those were the few of my favorite films growing up. So when you get Danny DeVito playing in this type of Super Bowl ad, you're going to be like, hey, nostalgia right there. Am I right, my friends? Am I right? I've had three people try to eat me today. Three! If you were an Eminem and you were surviving the streets in New York City or wherever the heck you are, how would you feel as if people tried to eat you? I mean, if you see a life-size Eminem, big chocolate, this big, walking around, obviously your first, you know, instincts are gonna be like, hey, your food, I'm gonna eat you, but imagine this. If food could talk, what would it say? Ooh, lucky penny. Anyway, sometimes I wish I were human. Whoa! Look at me! I'm human! Do you wanna eat me? No. Do you want to eat me? No, thanks. No? Would you like to eat me? Okay, what if you got a guy coming up to you saying, would you eat me? What if you had just you just had someone say that to you, to your face? And you, you're, in, again, in the streets of New York City, so anything could happen. <laughs> Nobody wants to eat me! I'm the luckiest! You know, you got a big truck coming at you. Just a big truck, and you get David DeVito just right there getting hit by the truck, and you're like... <sighs> Matilda. Childhood. Right there. And that happens to him. Nostalgia. You dropped your lucky penny. Man, I look good. You're still short and bald. Point made. You know, she's just, she's the sassy Eminem. She's gonna tell you how it is, and you're still short and you're still bald. But he's Danny DeVito now. Now this is canon. Is this canon? I'm not sure. Is the Eminem is red? The Eminem red actually now Danny DeVito. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But anyway, guys, I would love to know your favorite Super Bowl commercials of all time. These are some of my favorites, and I cannot wait to experience more Super Bowl commercials as it goes on and we venture into different worlds and realms and different times as I swim through the time-space continuum. Ooh, time travel. But yes, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to smash this like. Don't forget to subscribe to PewDiePie. Don't forget to hit the bell notification if you enjoyed this episode. And also... Don't forget to have an amazing day and eat yourself some M&Ms. But anyway, guys, I hope you have an amazing day. You stay safe out there. And as always, Miss Cats, until the next video, brace in a fangirl and your fanboy every single day. Hey, squad. Thanks Bye so guys. much for tuning into this episode of Miss Cat Squad. If you want to follow our adventures outside of YouTube, be sure to check out the description down below for all these awesome, fun links. And if you really love what we're doing on YouTube and want to be part of the journey and to contribute to it, be sure to check out to our Patreon page for awesome monthly awards. Thanks again, squad, and until the next video, embrace your inner fangirl and your inner fanboy every single day.